If you're watching this right now, it's probably because you are with a group of people, whether in a home or on Zoom, but you've gathered together to study this book, Until Unity, and you care about the unity of the church. And I didn't want to do just another Bible study series of videos. I, I just felt like this is a topic that is so impossible in some ways, and yet so critical, and it, it's not going to do it. I mean, this just isn't the time to just read more things about it. Uh, but, but I mean, honestly, when I finished writing the book, I thought to myself, gosh, I don't know if this is going to bring unity to the church. It's just a book. Other people have written books. But what if I could get the people who are serious, people like you that are actually taking their time in groups and you seriously pray to God, this literally could change everything. Uh, just this morning, I was reading in Isaiah 61. You know, that's that's the verse that Jesus quotes when he says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, and he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, and on and on and on. But I was looking at the verse before in chapter 60 where it says, I am the Lord. In its time, I will hasten it. I was thinking, God, so you just decided when that time was going to be. And then you made it happen. And the Spirit fell upon Jesus at that time. And I, I read that and I think, God, so it's up to you. Like you could choose right now that this is the time you bring all the believers to become one like Jesus prayed for. And, and I thought, what if he could see groups of us, groups like the group you're in, not just saying a cute prayer in the beginning of your gathering, but getting on your faces and saying, God, we know you can change us. We want this. this we want this in our lifetime. Please bring your church together because all it takes is, is getting God's ear and, and getting him to decide. And at the moment he decides, everything changes. And so what you'll be watching is, is a group of us that gathered at my house because I just wanted to pray. I go, come on, let's pray for this. Let's see if we can see this in our lifetime. And it's all determined by whether or not God chooses. And so we had people zooming in from Europe, Asia. And I thought, okay, let's show this to the world. Because if we can get people to pray and seriously seek God's face, everything could change.